Hey, what's up everybody? Again, it's Kevin Ma from Vancouver, BC. I'm an Ableton Certified Trainer and Product Specialist for Keith McMillan. In this video, let's have a look at Ableton Live 11.3. The upgrade features a lot of MPE upgrades, so let's get right into it. So let's have a look at the setup. The setup's gonna be really easy. Just make sure that you have MPE enabled for your controller by enabling the tick box right there. Several familiar instruments have been upgraded, such as analog, electric, collision, and tension. So quickly I'll show you where the settings and where the tabs are, starting with analog. Just a quick test. Over in the volume tab, if you click over here, you'll see the MPE settings assignment there, giving us controls. Several destinations are included with positive and negative values. So we have bi-direction on these assignments there. There you have your controls for pressure, slide, and per note pitch bend. I have mine set to 12 to correlate with the uh, default setting of the Keyboard Pro 4. <laughs> Electric by Applied Acoustics has also been upgraded, Sports MPE. Over on the global, you'll see the different settings, and in this case, we have pitch band and per note pitch band. Perhaps some subtlety is key for traditional instruments like this. We could also get maybe a little drunk sounding for the lo-fi vibes. With Collision, a dedicated section has been added to the MIDI tab with all our MPE controls. So if you look there, I'll set my per note pitch bend to 12. We can see our default global messages for modulation wheel there, our normal pitch bend. Maybe we will make that two steps. And there's our assignments for pressure and slide, positive and negative values. And lastly, for tension, take a look at the filter global tab, and you'll see your settings for pressure, slide, pitch bend, and your global and your per note pitch bend. So I always thought there was something special about the applied acoustic instruments that came in live suite. Uh, and since 11.3, having them upgraded with MPE, it just makes sense. I want to point out that there's already simpler sampler wavetable uh, that already support MPE. So live in general uh, is becoming quite the MPE workstation. Don't worry about drift. We got a drift video coming right up. First, let's have a jam with these instruments and I'll play you on the way out. See you in the next video. Cheers.